Amiral, I'm a paper magician and this new episode I'm going to share with you a few tricks and tips to turn all your mistakes, all your paper flaws and gaps and holes and stains into paper mastery. We wish sometimes we had a magic wand to fix all our mistakes. If you are a bit unfamiliar with paper, perhaps you keep on doing the same mistakes over and over again. I do myself mistakes on a regular basis. And I often want to change my mind as I'm working on a piece and turn an animal into another animal or start a little carriage and think perhaps I would prefer doing a little dollhouse or I don't know. I really like the possibilities that with paper you can change things all the time Time, nothing is never too late and today I'm going to share with you a few tips I really use on a regular basis in my work they're not crazy uh, amazingly new perhaps you already know them but they just sometimes save time and allow us not to start all over again we can work with the basis we did and we can just start after just before we did the mistake now let's see how it works now I'm going to show you how to use your cutter and your plier to remove your sculpting mistakes. I'm using here my little guinea pigs animals which are old pieces I don't, I never finish and I don't use anymore. So this one was a kind of, uh, I don't know, a kind of deer, it was supposed to be a, a deer. I never finished her but I'm going to show you how we could uh, change her. For example, imagine we, I would like to change her. I'm going to use my cutter. And I'm going to remove her nose, for example. I'm going to destroy her a little. And I can also use this. A plier and a cutter are just fine, you see? Now, if I wanted to change her into a cat, I would have to use my paper. I mainly use mulberry paper, so I'm going just to I could start to shape um, a cat, for example. Going to hide her totally. And this is the little deal turned into a kind of cat, not finished at all. But just to show you what you can do if you remove, you see, there was this thing before. It was a kind of it could be a wolf too. I could have made a big, big long nose like this. But here I decided to remove something to show you what you can do if you have something which is uh, not well shaped, too big, too round, and you want something thinner, smaller, you can always cut it very easily with a cutter and a plier and you have a, a, good, a good base, a good foundation to create a beautiful cat or any other animal you would like to do, it's really never too late. Now imagine you're not happy with your arms, with your legs, they are too small or way too long and you would like to change them. Something also super simple, you take your cutting plier and you cut it, for example, let's say, the, let's say there I would like something longer. You can cut it like this and we are going to take some iron wire. It's um, a trick I use not for arms or legs but I can use it for tails or for other things like that. So I, I, I use these little things quite often enough I would say. So you're going to attach one part there. The other part let's say there for example. Like this. For example, if I wanted very long arms and I get it, you plug this and I'm going to wrap it with a bit of paper. Now if you had some problems with your costumes, like you did something like that, or you had a hole or a gap or a stain or something not pretty, of course you would have different possibilities there. Here I could, the easiest way would be of course to glue one part on top of the other and try to repaint, to paint on top of it the, the patterns of the paper which is easy to hide it if you have some patterns 
um, especially on the edges. That's the thing, we want really to work on the edges to hide all this. So you could do that. Another way would be, depending on the problem you have with your paper, to paint another extra piece exactly with the exactly same flowers or stripes or little things you did on your paper. And you see, I did a square there, something with the very straight edges, and I'm going to <coughs> cut them so they are not like this. It's going to be easier afterwards to hide the edges on the first paper. It's a second possibility, you could do something like that. So here, for example, I would use something like this. Of course, I need to reshape uh, my first paper. And you could really, the, the trick is to play with the patterns you have. For example, here I did this. You could always, of course, use flowers, pockets, anything like that. This, <coughs> this is another possibility. And the thing is, if you have, don't have two straight edges, it's easier to hide and to, be, to make it less uh, apparent. You see, you can't really see very well, a little bit. I would have to paint on top of it a little. I'm not going to do that now, but I would have to do that. Then, another possibility. I'm going to tear apart this part here to show you. I tore apart another piece and I'm going to use my third possibility, which is wet mulberry paper with the same patterns. I paint on those and it's wet. And I'm going to have, just as I did, very um, not straight edges and I'm going to glue it as well. And it can be also very discreet, you can't really see it very well. So you see, it's quite easy after all to hide if you have a mistake or something really not pretty. It's really not a big deal. And it's really much easier if you have some patterns. It, it really helps. It really helps when you have patterns to make everything disappear or the mistake disappear. Now share with me your comments. Uh, if you also I use the same tips I use in my work. If you have others, why not? I would be uh, happy to know them. And if you want to know more about my techniques, about all these things, you can jump into my online classes website. I go into super, super details uh, in my explanations and uh, in my videos there. There is still the Princess Cat workshop which is there and there will be other workshops coming very very soon so you can subscribe to this newsletter if you want not to miss anything. I thank you for watching, you can always subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any videos and I wish you a very beautiful spring day packed with creativity and paper. See you soon!